Hi everyone, my name is Yanko. Uh, welcome to uh, this presentation on Go Further with the Automation of your SolidWorks products. First, we're, I'm just going to introduce you a bit what is DriveWorks, what can we use DriveWorks for. Then uh, we're going to see some features of DriveWorks. I'm just going to show you some examples uh, that we built here at Solid Experts using DriveWorks. DriveWorks is a powerful design automation tool for SolidWorks. It's a 3D product configurator software and uh, it's basically automation for manufacturing. Using DriveWorks, you're able to reduce repetitive tasks, eliminate errors, increase sales, and deliver custom products in report times. What it means is, using DriveWorks, you're able to basically take any 3D model that you, you, you created using SolidWorks and to capture some information about it and being able to configure it again and again so, so that you can deliver the product fast accurately uh, using the automation. On DriveWorks, there's multiple softwares. The most basic one is DriveWorks Express. With DriveWorks Express, which is uh, already available pretty much on any SolidWorks standard package, I guess it's on the complement, uh, you could just directly open the, the DriveWorks Express and capture some uh, information, some dimensions, some values about your 3D model, and then you can directly make a modification to it and generate the, the 3D object. The 3D object will, will respond directly on the same window and you, you, you see the changes right away. With DriveWorks Solo, they introduced the ability to create forms. So you can add buttons and controls, checkboxes, list box in order to change the values. So you can add rules, basically. Now, instead of directly changing the dimension, you can add a checkbox to check if uh, someone actually wants this feature or not and and therefore the, the the dimension would adjust based on those controls those controls can also be very, very well designed i mean you, you see in these pictures how the the control is is uh, is implemented so you have a lot of customization with those with Dropbox pro which is the main focus of this video you can do a lot more with, with the controls. First of all, there, there are more, more controls that, that you can add and you can also embed the whole software on the live. In DriveWorks Pro, uh, this is DriveWorks Pro lineup. It, it comes with several s softwares. It comes with DriveWorks Administrator, DriveWorks User, the Autopilot, the Live, and all connected to the Pro server, which is basically mainly a database on the server. It, it's able to, to connect all the different programs. So in DriveWorks Administrator, uh, you're able to design input forms, like we said. So you can add any control on, on it. You can uh, design rules. So if you want to make any, any sort of calculations based on an input of a user, you can do that also. And you can also control user access. So who has access to opening this part? Who has access to, to opening this project? A project is mainly the control forms, the design rules, and the 3D model combined together, they, they form a project. And you can run this project multiple times. Each time that you run a project, it's called a, a specification. So you can specify multiple time, m multiple variation of, of, of your products using the DriveWorks Administrator, and you can decide who can specify which kind of products using DriveWorks ad, ad Administrator. The, the user is basically an interface to configure the products. Once you design them using the administrator, then you can configure them using the user. It's a standalone or in SOLIDWORKS, so you can run it as a window program or inside of SOLIDWORKS. The main feature is that you can't modify any rule. Uh, and again, it's, it's for user access and, and control, so you want to let some user being able to modify a project, capture dimensions, or not. And if they're using the DriveWorks user, then of course, in just they're just users. The autopilot is where the magic is. With the autopilot, you can process all those specifications. So it's like a printer when you send many files to it. It knows uh, which file to process first. You can have multiple DriveWorks autopilot, and they can process different 3D model depending on, on the load. So you can have load balancing using the, the autopilot. It's able to generate all the documents, any, any more documents that you want to generate, and also it's able to send emails, so you, can, you get notified when the specification is uh, done. So basically, you run the, the, the specification on the DriveWorks administrator or the user or in the live, and any specification that you run gets sent to the autopilot, 
processed the, the autopilot creates the, the, the 3D model, generates the drawing, generates all the file, and send them by email automatically. So you don't have to do anything manually. The DryRox Live is a program that takes all the form control that you build using DryRox Administrator and you put them online as it is. So you, you can literally create a website using DriveWorks. And we're, we're gonna we're gonna look at some examples a bit later. How do you go from design to automation using DriveWorks? So to configure a, a product using DriveWorks, there's two main steps. You have to design the user interface and then you have to build the rules. So first you design the user interface, you build the rules, you put the logic inside of the rules and finally, you're able to configure it again and again and again. So building user interface is just placing some buttons at, at the right, uh, I mean, to, to in order to configure your, your, your product, you can put labels, you can put checkboxes, like I said. Then you build rules and logic based on the user input. So if a user inputted a height of 600, then you know that the remaining height of, of a leg offset could be 600 minus the 200 that you already have in the constant, and, and that, that could be a rule, any, any kind of rule. It could be a rule for a document, it could be a rule for a tree model, it could be a rule to configure drawings. All the rules are encompasses in, are, are inside of DriveWorks Administrator, and, and you can actually create amazing stuff with them. So, and finally, once you have those two steps together, there's not really any third step, it's, it's just, you, you can directly just configure the model again and again that easily. Again, just to reiterate a bit, um, you just enter a value, DriveWorks make all the calculations, and output the results. With that in mind, like, you, 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 you see that design, the design automation that you can have using DriveWorks can eliminate a lot of error, it can save you time, and if it saves you time, then of course you would have more time to, to, to innovate on other aspects of, of, of your product. It can uh, it enables you to design and manufacture efficiently and to work smarter than your competitor. Who can use DriveWorks? DriveWorks software it can be used by engineer and technician to create the forms because they, they probably know the product, but it can also be used by sales team. Uh, let's say you have a lead, and you don't want to talk to, to, to you can directly, the sales team can directly generate a new specification, enter all the inputs in, into the form, and not notify the engineer that the new specification had entered. It could be used by distributor in, in, in the same way, and it can also be used directly by the customers. And the customers can go online, answer all the questions in the form, and get a nice drawing delivered to them right away. The main advantages of DriveWorks, we talked about them a bit, but it's to gain competitive advantage. You reduce the cost of custom designs, because you, you, you basically you, you're faster. You respond quickly to sales inquiries. They could directly themselves put any, any input on, on the form, so it's way quicker. You enhance the quality product, because you have more time to enhance quality. And you reduce repetitive tasks, which, of course, reduces the errors that you encounter. What are the functionalities of DriveWorks? Uh, with DriveWorks, you're able to generate accurate drawings and models. You take your 3D model, you capture the information, and you can generate drawings and models based on those information. With the forms that you created, so it's you can also build interactive forms. You can have a process management included inside of, of, of the specification. What I mean by that is you can have a, a flow, uh, a specification flow. Let's say you have two teams, like I said earlier, you have two teams, you have the sales team and the engineering team. And the sales team just gets a quote from a client that they enter using the forms, and then they, then they, they can notify directly using the process management someone at the engineering team engineering team receives the quote and then is able to approve or not approve whatever quote is being sent. The whole flow can be managed using DriveWorks inside of those specifications. If it's approved, then you can all, always deliver the, the 3D model directly in a click of a button. And uh, you can also generate documents and emails with the same click of the button. So you, you, you capture information of a Word document, it could be a Word document, it could be an Excel document, it could be a PDF document, or it can be any type of document export 
uh, that, that you have the option to exploit using societal work. So it can be a drawing, DWG, any kind of supported format, basically. Um, there are some more advanced fee functionalities of, of DriveWorks. Uh, you can integrate DriveWorks with a website that's being made even more accessible uh, using the, the latest version of DriveWorks 18. Uh, you can use DriveWorks as a website directly, so all the forms that you created, all the buttons, and everything can be used and embedded in, in, into a website directly. You can integrate web services and APIs of, of all kind inside of DriveWorks. So DriveWorks knows how to talk to, to, to web services. It knows how to digest JSON file, XML files. So for example, what kind of web services exist? It could be a video, uh, if you know, if you want to know the temperature basically, or, uh, or the distance using the Google Maps API, you, you can know the distance between two points. For example, that could be useful. You can generate custom document. What I mean by custom document is DriveWorks is all already able to generate Word document, Excel documents, PDF documents. But if you want to have a custom solution, you can also use DriveWorks to generate website files. I mean, you name it. You can you can generate pretty much any other type of files. And I have a few examples. And finally, you can also export the 3D model, like I said, in any format supported by SolidWorks, but it could also be exported using DriveWorks. So the, the, the 3D model that you build for DriveWorks inside of your form to showcase the product could be used and exported directly. If you want to have a mock-up version, a fast version of your 3D model, the one that, that is being embedded inside of the form could be exported also. And it can also be transferred to a 3D printer, for example, directly. DriveWorks is very flexible. DriveWorks can talk to many softwares available. I mean, here uh, you, you have some examples. It can talk to a PDM, to a PLM software, to a CAM software, to an ERP software. So you can take information. Uh, let, let's say you want to talk to the CRM program and, and directly fetch all the clients that you have. So you can read and write those databases. So although the blue and, and the red arrow means that you can read and write basically. So you can read and write not only from those databases but you can also use files. So if you don't want to have uh, the integration go that far you could directly just use XML file, CSV file and transfer information between your databases. Now I'm not saying that the integration part is, is really uh, is, is ready to use on DriveWorks but it's available and it's doable to get all the information. So you can also, I mean, we talked about web services, databases. So yeah, you could use files also. That concludes basically the overview of DriveWorks. So with DriveWorks, the main focus is to be able to automate the CAD. Uh, you can use a workflow with the process management. So you can, you can basically pass a project between multiple teams. You can embed uh, forms on a website and you can create beautiful forms using DriveWorks. Those forms can be responsive, they can be used on mobile, they can be used on tablet or directly on a PC. There is integration with DriveWorks and any other software database. I mean most of the SQL, uh, most of the SQL database could be written using DriveWorks. You, you could also have a 3D preview of, of your model embedded inside of of your form using DriveWorks. So you can look at the product while configure it. This is an important feature of DriveWorks. You can have rules and logic embedded inside in, in, into the project. Any form input that the user enter can lead to a calculation, which leads to a change in dimension in the final product. And you have a, a nice tool called the reporting tool of DriveWorks. And, and this tool is, is able to tell you where the automation process failed, if you want to correct something, and if there is any error. Uh, so you have a very detailed report on on how the, the 3D model behaved during the automation process. All right, so now I'm just going to show you some examples that we developed here at All Experts. So this is a DriveWorks project made entirely using DriveWorks forms. And it's embedded into a website using 
Dryworks Live. So you see you have in the integration from a website. You launch a project here. The project gets launched and you, you can select the module that you want to launch. Here you see um, the user wants to configure a table. So you see the 3D model of, of the table. You can choose another table if you want to. You can create a spec sheet, which is a custom document that we actually uh, created here at All Experts. So you, you saw how fast that was. There is all the information available. You can directly print it uh, or uh, even see if it as a PDF format. Down there, uh, and I think a bit later, it's going to show that you can also send this file via email. Here, uh, you see directly the modification made on the 3D model. So each time you press on a button, you select a new base, and the base gets reflected directly on, on, on the 3D model. Here, you have a change of, uh, of the, the wood material of the top. You can add the model that you just uh, created to a wishlist, and then configure a second one if you want to. Of course, if you return, that model is still going to be there. So you see this is a chair. You can change... I mean, depending on, on, on the model that you want to configure, you have different options. Here, the option is to change the color of the nails. You can also change the, the legs. And the finish. Now the user is just going to add this chair to this wishlist, change the quantity. And again, you're going to see the document being created. In a, in, in, in a split of a second. I mean, it's pretty fast. What we're showing you here that there's no price because prices can be can be adjusted for the user. Here, the user is a guest user, so it doesn't show any price. But for multiple, uh, I mean, if 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 you, if you want to show a price for a certain user, you could, and that's also part of the user access. So you see here, he sent the document via email, and this is the the PDF file that he received in his inbox. I have a second project that I want to show you. Uh, this project is also being developed using Driveworks entirely, using Driveworks form, and embedded in, uh, using Driveworks Live. So all of this is being made directly using Driveworks. This is a collection system for storm, storm uh, water. You see here, you can input the volume of rain you can uh, change the shape of your of, of the space that you have, and the program directly is going to calculate all the possibilities with specific sets of, of rule, and and it's going to ask you to choose and even optimize for you the best choice of water chambers. So you see the that water chamber in orange wasn't possible to make, so there was some error in it. Here you see like the user chose uh, manholes directly using Driveworks form, and this is a drawing created using Driveworks. Here it's just to show you that Driveworks can uh, use uh, Google Map services, and you can have uh, the databases of all the the, the media station available directly inside of your Driveworks project. I have a, a third project that I want to show you. This one is about hydraulic elevator jack and power unit manufacturing. This one has, uh, this one is, is, is uh, directly being used in, in a Windows computer, so no live for this one. It's being used by engineers directly, so you're going to see that the forms are not as beautiful as the one that we saw previously, but uh, you're going to also see nice drawings being generated, I mean very accurate drawings using Driveworks. So you see here the forms, the user can select a client, you can select the language, everything changes, you can select the unit, metric, imperial, and finally you can add a product to it. Configure the product the way you want it, this is hy hy hydraulic jack, so capacity, you, you enter, you enter any other input information that you want, and Driveworks in the background makes all the calculation and all the relationship between those rules and the dimensions of your 3D model to drive them. So here you see a table, so information can be embedded also directly in, in the project. 
select information and generate the, the 3D model and the drawings. So you see here all the 3D model that first got generated and we're going to take a look at some of the drawings. You see it's lots of break lines, different type of views, all the dimensions, everything uh, set properly. All right, so that was my presentation of uh, DryWorks. Uh, for any other questions that you have, uh, you could always email Solid Experts and we'll gladly help you with any future project that you have in mind. Thanks a lot for listening and uh, I'll see you soon.